Okay, so this is probably the fastest I've ever made a video and its follow-up together. Really nerd sniped me, you guys. Great job. Right, a couple of updates. So first off, um, wow, there's 200 comments to go through and it's only been about a day. Uh, you guys have a bunch of things that you mentioned and I figured I should share because they're pretty good. Uh, first off, for people who have not watched the original video, the goal here is given an orthogonal square of length 1, construct another orthogonal square of side length square root of x. You cannot snap a diagonal line to be flat without changing its length, and you cannot snap a circle to a line to work as a compass, which is why these constructions are as complicated as they are. Without wait, I want to mention that Number Basher has been one of the folks who was following this since I made that comment in Zai's video, and he found an improvement to the method of the Theodore spiral construction to create square root of x plus 1, given square root of x is known. His method is as such. First, construct the adjacent square root as normal, then start constructing the target square root. From here, fragment it so that you get a line of length 1 at the correct angle. After this, copy it and get its perpendicular, line up the lines together, and then using shift, extend the length of the original line until the ends of both lines line up vertically. The distance here constructed should then be square root of x plus 1. This skips the necessity of having to reconstruct the whole thing from scratch again, and you can just repeat this over and over and over again. Right. With that out of the way, I'm going to show you another method which pretty much makes my old method completely unnecessary. Green and Clip shared a method which can be used to take any constructible number and return its square root. And the thing is that I knew about this construction already. I made a linkage that mechanically solved for the square root of the number a few years back, and it uses this exact method. But I completely forgot about it. So genuinely, thank you so much for reminding me about this. It's such an easy way of getting the square root. Start with the unit square with side length 1 and the square with side length x. Put them side by side. Take whichever square is smaller and stretch it upwards to match the height of the other. Then draw a circle that spans the width of both blocks, snap this to the bottom of the blocks, fragment merge to get this intersection, and draw a line here. This line is then the square root of x. And that's literally it doesn't need any extra constructions. This also works when x is smaller than unit block as well. So, theorem 7. Actually, I shouldn't be defining these numbers because they're probably going to be inconsistent to what Dr. Zai wants to order these, and I should really stop ripping off his format, so I'll just switch back to my own. Theorem A. Given a unit square of side length 1 and a square of side length x, a square of square root x is constructible. I also want to mention that even though Green Eclipse was the first person to mention this to me, he's not the only person that has mentioned this to me. A couple of other folks have also figured out that this is the geometric mean construction. And this is when I hit another realization. There was a comment by a generic person which said, now I'm curious if a Mark straight edge can be modeled, then we can get cubed roots. Not sure any flags need that, but still would be cool. I'm not 100% certain on whether Neusis, right angle ruler, or tomahawk constructions are possible. Um, anyone is absolutely free to try these out, but my brain actually jumped ahead of that because I already knew of another way to construct arbitrary nth roots and nth powers. First off, Blockhat Plus also described another method for constructing square roots. It is admittedly more complicated than what Green Eclipse sent. But the most important thing here is that because it allows for the square root of x construction to be independent of what x is, you can nest roots repeatedly to get arbitrary to the nth roots. However, the fact that it's independent of x means that you can allow it to construct non-standard relationships. We'll refer back to this construction we can take the inverse of this to get this relationship. Noting that this is a geometric mean, it means that the difference between these two lines is a scaling by x, and the difference between these two lines is also a scaling by x. As a result, it doesn't have to be 1x and x squared, but rather x to the n, x to the n plus 1, and x to the n plus 2. Thus, we can actually construct any nth power. 
and if we take the inverse, we can get any nth root. And of course, we have a mechanical linkage which already does this. Here's one that was made by Chacon, and here's one that I made to approximate Taylor series. So, with this theorem B, all rational powers are constructible. And that's pretty much the end of this one. I guess if even more stuff comes out, I'll again make another video, but I am really strapped for time, so the next one probably won't come a good time later if it does. Rest in fragment shape merging.